Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Med Bros Podcast, episode uh, no. six, <laughs> six or seven. Sorry, we fell off for a little bit there. Uh, uh, all of Herman's on. fault, obviously. My levels are too high. Can you're leveling or are we the annoyingest thing in the world? Okay. I know we fell off for a little bit on the podcast. Obviously, it's going to happen from time to time, but we are back with another episode. We're going to go through two topics. Uh, one of recent news that uh, that seems to keep keep recurring in the YouTube space with influencers. Benith has brought that topic. And then Shaman and me have put together a topic where uh, Benith will probably get heated as well. We're going to just get into about the TikTok. Topics. So let's get into the first topic. Benith, why don't you introduce uh, us? Man, how many times have I like taught you guys about this man? Hey. I'm going to call him a man. Because he's JC? Not a kid. JC, man. James Charles. JC is virus. Hey, JC. Seriously, he's practically a virus. For those of you who don't know, it's like a hardcore, hard hitting virus in medicine. JC virus. <laughs> um, this time, I personally think the water's pretty hot, but apparently Oof. sometimes this guy recovers every time. So this guy's skin is, is impervious it's to any scalded. type of heat damage. He should be scalded by now, but he's still like, I don't know, he's water impermeable. So it's hot water. <laughs> so what happened essentially is. He has been talking to minors again, um, 16 year olds, and one reportedly, allegedly, I think he's been down to like 14 or 15. Now, by um, talking, what do you mean by talking, talking? I mean that he adds them, so he'll usually DM them on like Instagram after mm. finding them on his explore page. He'll DM Ooh. them, say, hey, I think you're cute, add me on Snap, and then Snapchat is where all the things are known to go down. So just by adding somebody on Snap, you know that the conversation is not going to just to remain PG um, most of the time and it doesn't for James Charles he was um, there have been kind of screenshots posted where he requests I think it was a 16 year old to take pictures of himself lewd photos um, and oh gets angry when they don't he also sh was pretty upset when you know people are uncomfortable providing him with such said pictures um, and I allegedly at this point I think nine individuals have came forward in this recent past that uh, is period lot. of time uh, allegedly, I think uh, four or five of them have provided. I think all of them have provided screenshots, actually. So allegedly, there's nine. So, so this individual uh, was individual. in Hollywood. Can voice. you stop with that? Extremely high for some reason. Yeah, see, look how. So why don't you just grab yours? I'm trying. Lower. Wait, what, he why? doesn't know which one it is. Yeah. Your levels need to be okay. levelized. <laughs> Okay. If you reach over me one more time, okay. Herman was not cut off to be a DJ. Shaman's like all the other Punjabi boys. This you know. is called winging it in the Indian way. These should actually be leveled out equally. And this is just random <laughs> for fluffling. Okay. So this individual has gotten into hot water before. How long ago was that? I feel like we were just talking about this the other day. I think Tati. And it was for the same thing. No, I think Tati had exposed him back in, like, I think that was, what, 2019 now? Yeah. And that at that time she had brought upon that they was talking to some minors. I think in between her and recently too, there was one time too where he was caught talking to minors. He's just always talking. How to old minors. is this man? He's twenty one, I think. That's old enough to uh, know better, and he's been doing this for quite a while. Uh, yeah, he's been like, like is this nine people over a period of time, or like just nine like people like recently, month? and he's been doing it since like at least twenty nineteen. My so so goodness. he's been uh, called out on it. He's been exposed before. His fan base does not... He apologized before. Right, he apologizes. And then how does the fan base react? Yeah, how does he recover? He, how is, he has he a so... lot of likes and on his apology video last I checked. And mm -hmm. people just His most recent to... apology video. Yes, Herman. Wow. Which other one? He has a multiple. He has an apology every week. What are you talking about? Which one? Interesting how you can basically do anything if you're big enough. Mm -hmm. And if you release an apology video, it just seems to like go under the rug. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now the question is, is this because these individuals are in the spotlight and average people out there are doing crap like this every day? And it's just the fact that these people are in the spotlight that we're hearing about it? Or what is it about celebrities that all seem to have the same case and even while they look around them and they see other people in the similar situation they continue to do the same thing for example uh, another one that's been blowing up never really watched him don't really know what any of his channel is about but the name David Dobrik apparently this guy is really big a uh, very similar situation well his sounds no, like his it was, was not similar worse. His, his was, was way different his is way different his was he in encouraged in an environment where girls would come over and there would be a power difference and they would almost feel like they had to do certain things for the vlog because he told them to do it and he was complicit with the fact that one of his vlog members who was featured in his vlogs appeared in his content frequently 
practically raped somebody and he never did anything about it. Right, but what I'm saying is that all of these are still in the bucket of sexual harassment, assault, and all this stuff, and it has to do with celebrities. Same thing. It's just a gray... It's a gray... Well, I personally believe James Charles is not gray at all, I, nor do I really think David Drobrix is gray, but I do think that if anything, James Charles is like, what he does is literally a crime. Getting yeah. Yeah, lewd obviously. photos from a minor is but like... My thing the, is, why isn't the police involved then? I think they might be. I don't really know the details of that, but I think they should be. Why is it that already. all of these situations, like when you actually have like... Solid evidence. Solid that evidence that some, like, some guy hooked up with like a 17-year-old. It seems like half the time the police doesn't even do anything. Yeah. It's very interesting how that works. Especially with if the victim is a male and then you're dealing also with a, a very convoluted situation where you're dealing with celebrity. It has to do with homosexual individuals. There might be a little discomfort. It's like, mm -hmm. it's not a classic cut case of grown man. I personally think girl. it is a cut case. No, no, I no, think no. that you are not a normal human course, being. Yeah. I, at 24, would not be interested in even a 19 year old. Of course. Even if they are over age, I just don't. It's just weird. Of course, but what I'm saying is the classic story you hear about on like To Catch a Predator or anything weird like that is a grown adult man, underage girl who doesn't know better, and then that's an easy sh open and close case. Here, it, these kind of situations, you see these getting prolonged. You don't see action being taken. You don't see the victims being taken seriously. And on top of that... He, I think people do take him seriously. I just think law-wise, I don't that's know. That's what I mean, yeah. But like, also, it's like, I don't... I From what I know, none of the victims, other than maybe one, said that he was coming forward. None of them actually took it to the police. So, like, what is the police going to do? Like, I know sometimes they can just manifest their own cases, but most of the time, like, you're going to require somebody to file a report, which I don't think is being done because people are scared of James Charles and his lawyers and shit. The thing is... It's like a never-ending cycle then because if the police isn't going to do anything and then the other YouTubers or people around them seem to never do anything. They just seem to make the next collab with him one week later. Exactly. Um, and the audience is kind of like forgiving him and, you know, liking the video and whatnot. Hold on, guys. Let me answer. I don't know what this is. Hello? Good afternoon. This is... Purposes. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. That's great. So it looks like we got your last letter of recommendation, so you are currently in review. Congratulations. Okay, awesome. Thank uh, you. Go ahead. No problem. We will go ahead and send you an email with the next steps uh, while you're waiting for your application um, to finish being reviewed. And we just wanted to know if you had any questions so far. No questions. Thank you so much for the update, though. I was wondering like what was happening, so I appreciate the call. No problem. You should be getting an email from us in the next few minutes. And if you do have any questions, just give us a call back, okay? Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. All right, guys. What, <laughs> what was, was that, that about? Uh, I told everybody on my Instagram, but I'm doing a master's in science and healthcare at USU. Oh, so. dang. Okay. Well, I, I thought they had the wrong lying. number for like a college application or yeah, something. Yeah, I was like, who, what are you getting a letter for? Anyway, back to the topic at hand. So my question was going to be, Shaman, you just pulled up some information, but uh, maybe you can read that after this. But my question is, how was the rest of the community responding to him? They, in the past, again, like exactly what like you're saying, they respond, they get angry, they collab with him. The next video, he's in the house with those little kids on TikTok. Dancing around, you know, doing the little dances. So everyone seems to just not care. Is there going to be consequences? Has anyone spoken yeah, it's out? It's interesting, even though, like, he is into guys, right, James Charles? I see. And he's uh, friends with, like, the Charlie girls who are also underage, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Are they still talking to him? Yeah, everyone's in the TikTok world is still supporting James. I think one of the most famous TikTokers named Noah Beck came out and said, like, yeah, I love James, like, even with everything going on interesting how there's literally no morals anymore in the like online space it seems it seems like everything's about clicks and everything's about connecting with larger people yeah. or people who can help you self-promote if you don't need somebody like for example the kardashians don't need james like they just know okay we're unfollowing this guy yeah exactly so it's, there it, were so some people it looks like there were some people here's the uh, a list of all out of all the people that you know James Charles has been followed by all the celebrities and influencers we were able to get these people on board with the unfollow <laughs> Selena Gomez interesting uh, Charlie Puth and their puff <laughs> seriously no Puth yeah it's uh, huge okay <laughs> Minecraft streamer Carl Jacobs let's go <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then apparently the uh, Kardashians. Kardashians. I think a lot of other people too, but in general, yeah, A listers have. Hmm. Yeah. So it looks like finally we have. But is some that like? Do you see the freaking here. repercussions we're looking for? We're looking for somebody oh, to be no, but, by but before it seems like you could literally murder someone, and then the Kardashians would have like a, a collab with you the next day. <laughs> <laughs> At least they have some kind of, you know, moral compass here. I think so, it's I mean, also the like their, is very low, but I'll. But it's I'll also take. their protection. Like they don't want to be associated with it. Yeah, probably for their brands as well. It's not as well, like always, like oh, good now. intentions. Let's unfollow him. It's like also oh, our brand. Probably is Selena basic. Gomez actually did unfollow him legitimately, though she has no like connection with this dude. I mean, everyone wants to be connected to the number one influencer. Sure, but like, there's no brand deal she's gonna lose on. This. None of them do. Have brand Kardashians deal. might if no. they appear in a collab. No, they don't. No. Okay. Well, so, anyways. My thing well, is, I just think that if you do that, Harmony, you're wasting too, yeah, a lot of I cuts, man. Yeah, You can do that in the next, next time. Are you good with your levels? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In general, though, I think, like, I personally, like, even though it was my topic, like, I just, like, don't really know what there is left to talk about other than if you're a James Charles super fan and you want to defend him. Like, there's really no other side to it. It's really not gray. It's pretty black and white. Um, and I just really... I don't know. I just feel like even initially I mean, when I said I wasn't a big fan of James Charles, people came at me like I was hating on like a little baby. But like he's a grown man and like should be held to a little bit higher standards considering even in one podcast he was like, guys, I am the mentality of a 40 year old, but I only want to date like 18, like 18, the youngest possible. Like yeah. that's not normal. No, usually that's a red flag as well. If you're, if you're cut off as 18, that's just because that's the legal limit that he's saying. It's probably younger than that. It's the basic idea you can get from that. Yeah, that's probably true. But he also... Oh, go ahead. Go sorry. Ahead. Uh, uh, I was just going to say, uh, before we get too far into it, I wanted to read what the summary of his apology was. Because okay. we were under the accusations. Now we got to give James Charles a bit of a defense here. Uh, his own defense. I mean, I watch it, but yeah. So, in summary, he admitted to crimes of soliciting nude photos from minors. Um, at least eight have come forward so far, but he said nine. So, this was posted a couple days ago, so maybe the numbers are adding up. He says he's the victim in all of this because they lied about their ages. So Ooh. apparently they didn't tell their age. He's playing uh, the victim. So huh? the other thing he said is he's Which, just... Sorry, I'm just going to address these as they come. No. They're very easy to find age. First of all, multiple things. You could... That, apparently if you look up those, some of them are on famousbirthdays.com. You know how like you can end up on that site if you mm -hmm. even have like 20,000 followers. So some of these kids that he liked, like how they looked, they were big enough to have a decent following on Instagram. And so they were on Famous Birthdays and Famous Birthdays actually has their date of birth. You can, if you were concerned, if you have a history of minor offense, that's something you should probably do is just look up their age, double check. Or just ask them. I mean, he asked them. They oh, lied. and they lied. Oh, oh, but he didn't that's provide receipts to that. Story. It's oh. not a different story. Also, they visually, like visibly look like baby faces. Why right, are we attracted right. to baby faces? Yeah, at the very least, we can say that he's interested in nudes from, <laughs> from people that look fancy. Look like yeah, at know. least that. Like, that can be a statement. Okay, go on. Uh, he says he's desperate and lonely. Oh, my God. That one was like, it got me, bro. His whole <laughs> apology was like, I'm lonely. And it gets really lonely. And it's like super lonely. And I'm really desperate, guys. And it's like, that's your excuse. You're desperate. Like, desperate. get on Tinder and find like a any 25 year old in the world would want to like hook up with you so just go do that instead That's of praying on children yeah. okay go on yeah uh <laughs> he will be more thorough in checking their id and age in the future <laughs> did he say that last? i swear i heard this last so, like time he's not well. gonna stop talking to like yeah, random said, kids on his explore yeah he page. said he's exactly. not gonna stop doing this so we can assume that he's still gonna go to his explore Instagram, page yeah add me to my snap yeah like, send me those nudes i'm gonna be angry <laughs> yeah. if you don't yeah. <laughs> he's basically admitting to this and he's getting as long as you it. send me a fake id saying you're like 18 I'm fine with going on the explore page and finding men that way. Oh, Jesus. So my thing is, where do you go from here with these people? So why are three doctors talking about this topic? The main thing is you never know who these people are that you're talking to and seeing online. Uh, examples, Dave Dobrik, Charles, what's his, uh, James Charles, all these guys are really got some creepy stuff going on behind the scenes and you just never know who the heck you're following and what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, no, what I was going to say, too, is um, the, the in, in medicine, there's a principle that you just don't date your patients. You don't romanticize your patients because the essence of it is, is that there's a power difference. You don't want to ever to interfere with treatment. But also just like it's not going to be a normal relationship. You're their doctor. Like there's a power 
difference in that relationship just like with james charles and all his fans there's a power difference and some people will blame the kids and be like why didn't you just like say no and block him if he asked you for nudes and it's like uh that's his their like biggest idol like to see like a a gay kid go from like a new york high school to like this and it's like wow gay people can be accepted like wow like that's awesome like so some of these kids it was their idol talking to them they're not just gonna block them so kind of similarly like in medicine there's just a rule of like no dating your patients there's a power difference that's like the law has a rule don't date freaking minors there's a power <laughs> difference and on james there's another layer of you're their biggest like icon yeah. so maybe just don't take advantage of that yeah yeah, so I actually probably have, I mean, out of all these guys, like, mo no one has morals in this world anymore. I mean, uh, these guys also are, like, pretty loose on morals. As the man with a solid moral compass, I have always, ha always had a policy of cutting off people who are actually bad. So, like, for some people, if they directly, uh, like, mess you up, then that's the cutting off point. Uh, for me, like if I see someone else screwing someone else over, I will, and that person's still cool with me, I'll cut them off anyways. Like I don't like how you're treating this person or how you're actually not a good person, even though you're nice to me, and I'll cut you off. Even when it comes to music, if like uh, Chris Brown, who, who had, <clears throat> even like Chris Brown, who's had very bad accusations against him with Rihanna, and even if you hear like the accounts going forward, what he's done to people, like he's actually a very bad person. And I cannot support uh, someone who's doing that, even if it's like, oh, it's just music. So I'm in that bucket. Beneath, on the other hand, um, will gladly listen to people who are murderers. And Herman I, doesn't care either way. So I think that okay. we should have a, in general, we should have a larger, like a higher standard. So you have a background checks on all your artists? Who is this guy, man? No, but if what, I he takes know the history, state IDs on I, people that message you? Sure, I'm sure I consume content or like play a video game from some pedophile in Japan. <laughs> what? But if I don't know it, there's nothing you can do okay, about it. But if point. it's known, yeah. why would you still support that? If James Charles is a known creep in this way, why would you consume his content? Why would you collab with him? Why would you support him? Like, I just don't understand that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Because instead of content, you're it's like a person you're consuming. Mm -hmm. uh, you're uh, like literally the person you're interacting with. So if you still like hanging out with James Charles, you're directly literally saying, I don't give a crap. I'm hanging out with this guy that's basically saying he has pedophilia. Yeah, but if he does it to me, then screw him. Mm -hmm. But if he does it to someone else, I wonder how right. their parents feel. Like, as long as the money's man. coming in for half these people. No, not Charlie. Yeah, Charles' parents, Charlie and like Dixie's parents. Is I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, they're, they're probably all fine. Yeah, like, they're they're probably millionaires. Millionaires. we're good. We're doing another collab. Yeah. Um, okay. I think we yeah. closed that topic. But do you have any thoughts on what I just said there? No, I think that's a great yeah, conclusion. A I completely conclusion. agree with all of that. I like that. Okay, now some people will say. Other people on YouTube should not be bashing their colleagues or other people on YouTube. That's uh, all I should that. be doing. Uh, be a lot of people. Oh. For instance, in our Dr. Mike video, even though we gave the lightest criticism probably on the platform of him, <laughs> uh, we no, got we bashed. Bro, Why if I spending... can get criticism, uh, pedophiles can get criticism. Wait, let's jump from this point. Sorry, yeah, a <laughs> lot of people are saying that you should not spend time bashing on other creators yeah. and you should spend time uh, making like other productive content. Right. But you have one of your responsibility on being on a platform is if you have your colleagues, there's Dr. Mike, a doctor that's out here on YouTube in a very similar space. If he's doing something and we're educated about calling it out, you're going to call it out. Same thing with all of these guys. Uh, all of his buddies out here should be calling him out. You have to keep the entire environment in check or you're just going to have people running amok, making a mess of the space. And that also reflects badly on you because when you have a YouTube as a pedophile, then you have uh, the kind of this whole YouTube space is looked upon negatively by the public, which is very important because people are trying to finally make YouTube a career and make it important and make it uh, something I just feel like it's also our job though to eradicate these crappy people. Exactly. Like, that's, the ultimate. that's the other thing. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be on the same platform as that dude. Like, yeah. that's like you working in a place where, yeah, we don't see James. James Charles every day but like do you want that person working at your place not yeah, really yeah. Like, and it's interesting how the dynamics change when it's another group like with the police people are like why are police protecting other police when someone does something wrong mm -hmm. it's like no we want you to call them out yeah. I don't like this we're in the same sphere so we should be coddling you and protecting oh, 100%, you, you know big I mean? yeah. so just because police officers 
are in the same career. They shouldn't have each other's backs when someone doing someone something blatantly wrong. Mm -hmm. In the same case, if somebody is known creep <laughs> texting sixteen year olds like eight times over, yeah. right? One time would be enough for me. Eight <laughs> times over. Jesus. That's game over, eight my friend. Over. That's game. James Charles, eight I don't want. Eight times over is game over. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't want no uh, association with that. Yeah. So uh, we can get critiqued for calling someone out who's a pedophile, but I got to question you if you're calling us out for that. You know what I mean? No, for sure. For sure. Fair points. Okay. Okay. I think we'll conclude the James Charles topic on that, and we're going to be moving into podcast number two. This one might get a little heated, people, because Shaman has some opinions about TikTok. Well, that's TikTok. what you said about the first time.